Okay, Tuesday morning marketing. Gonna meet Mario at our newest listing. So uh, just come along and check out what we do for a marketing shoot. Fit check. Yeah, you can't really see it, but I got some nice checkered pants, the polo. I'm gonna change these shoes. There we go. Also, I'd like to point out and mention, I'm the best uh, business partner ever. I, I picked up a plant from one of our previous uh, home staging adventures. So uh, yeah, Mario, you owe me one. I got fake people showing fake love to me straight up to my face. Straight up to my face. At the beautiful house right now, look at this. Mario's already here. Mario. What's up, bud? This guy's always fixing shit. What are you fixing right now? Hey, someone's got to do it. <laughs> For electricians, plumbers, whatever you need. This guy's getting his hands dirty. <laughs> All right, Mario Marketing Day. What is the first thing we do as realtors when we walk into a house that we're about to list? As soon as we come in, we're gonna go inside, make sure that everything is neat and tidy, toilet seats down, everything prepared, all the lights on, all the windows closed with the blinds open. Just make sure that the house is ready to be photographed. And is this one ready? Take me on a tour here. Is this one ready to go? So perfect example, sometimes people would leave the faucet like this. We would go ahead and adjust the faucet like that. All the under the counter lights have to be on. Make sure that in this particular case, we have this nice, beautiful backyard. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that the window curtains are open so everybody can see directly outside. Amazing. As real estate agents, we don't do all the magic. Our camera crew is a big help, but is there anything that we do to help guide our camera crew? It's a great question. Nobody actually talks about it, but as a perfect example, if there's a feature in the home, this kitchen right behind me, the angle that I would like taken is an angle from this area here. So you actually go ahead and capture the whole kitchen. Angle. Same thing applies for the exterior of the house. If you want a specific angle of the front, I remember that's the first picture that everybody's going to see when they see this listing come to market. I want a specific angle. I have to go ahead and tell the marketing guy. Amazing. Right from the goat's mouth. He is the goat at marketing shoots and that's why I'm learning from him. So we'll continue on. So exception. You're late. Late! Is he late? What's the He's... definition of being late? You're supposed to be here at 11. Uh, it's 11 07, so 11 you're late. 11 07. My time. No, the Jamaican time says it's 10 45. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop talking. Watches in Jamaica. If you can just take a picture of the side, because it's been just one like one picture. It doesn't have just literally from that corner. You're showing the side of the house. That's it. Okay. That's the only special request. Everything else is good. All right, with the cameraman himself, Kev. Yo. All right, so in a photo shoot for a house, what do we do? What is our typical setup here? We go through the house first off and make sure that we're checking everything. All the lights gotta be on, the toilet seats gotta be down. For some reason, people like toilet seats to be out, I don't get it, and everything is in the right spot. Um, and if we gotta move stuff, no problem, whatever, whatever. And then we uh, start shooting. As we're walking through, we're kind of figuring out like where we wanna shoot, how we wanna shoot, how we wanna make the room, uh, how we wanna show as much of the room as possible. You know what, since I've moved out, then I realized, because when I started looking for places to live, I'm like, I need this angle. So now I'm shooting, I'm like, I want to see this angle. So everything changed, man. Ever since I moved out, it's like, I know exactly what angles I want. And what lens do you use for, uh, for shooting a house? Uh, this one's going to be switching soon, but it's a 17 to 8 to 28. But uh, I'm going to be switching to a probably a 12 or a 10. 10 set. Probably a 10, probably 10 is what I'm gonna be switching to. The old box behind your legs here, where is that? Ah, this is the, the ground resistance I guide. So this machine has a lot of components to it and it's gone through a lot of uh, revamps. So they have the 360 camera. So when we hit go off of our phone, a picture from this side and a picture from this side, and then there's a laser that's in this black. I have one simple request. And that is to have sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. And at the end, which you'll see, floor plan is your, your measurements and everything is all set through this and it's pretty dope. revolutionary, man. Yeah, it's kind of sick. Okay, that's marketing day. This house right here is actually 261 Glad Park. We're putting it up on the market uh, next week, if not next week, the week after. So more importantly, I hope everybody got a little bit more educated out here, learning what realtors and their camera crew do. Uh, whenever we're preparing for a listing, we take this stuff really seriously. So that's a little sneak peek behind the scenes and stay tuned for more videos just like this. What? And if you want me, girl, I 
will be your man And if you want me girl I will be here forever